we continue our discussion on the hydrogen emission spectrum. So we looked at the, the Balmer series, which shows us visible light. We, we just got done with the Poshton series, which shows us the infrared light. Now we're going to look at the Lyman series. Once again, we're going to use the exact same equation. 1 over lambda is equal to R, which is Rydberg constant, which is Rydberg's constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the 7th <clears throat> inverse meters. However, here, instead of going either to the second or the third state, we're going to the first state, the one closest to the nucleus, and then N. So this question says, calculate the wavelength for the first member of the Lyman series of, of the hydrogen emission spectrum. And in this case, then, our N is going to be equal to 2. So we have 1 over lambda is equal to R, which is 1.097 times 10 to the 7th inverse meters times 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared. We do this calculation, and what we get is we get 8.23 times 10 to the 6th inverse meters. We then find our lambda. We take the inverse here. We take the inverse there. We get 122 nanometers, which is in the ultraviolet portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. So the Balmer series is going to give us visible light. The Poshen series is going to give us infrared light. And lastly, the, the Lyman series is going to give us ultraviolet light. Remember, that's the light that gets irradiated when the atom relaxes back to the ground state. If you have any questions on the hydrogen emission spectrum or the Balmer series, the Poshen series, or the Lyman series, please let me know.